Hello, everyone, right here for another Farming Simulator 19 mod review slash also mod release here. Today, we're going to be looking at the white 4, 210, 225, uh, 270, and 325 here that I've done. Uh, this is a mod that uh, I guess you couldn't quite call it from scratch, everyone, because I, I did get the 3D model for it. But uh, built it from scratch from the 3D model here, essentially. So this is a white branded tractor here. Uh, ranging from 210 to 325 horsepower and we happen to have it in the uh, the quad track configuration here at the moment also got to give a uh, shout out slash uh, thanks here to wind farm as he's the one that designed the motor that came in this uh, particular tractor uh, the motor that uh, was part of the original 3d model for this tractor was well, for those of you who watched the uh, build videos of this motor, or this tractor, <laughs> the original motor was, well, we actually turned it into the transmission back here. That's, that, that transmission there, that was the motor. So, it's like, well, we'll make that the transmission, I guess. So, anyway, uh, yes, the white, uh, we'll call it the 270, I guess, the white 270 uh, tractor here. Uh, has uh, several different options. We'll go through that in the uh, shop here at the moment. I got this configured as the 325 version here at the moment. Comes with the uh, three-point hitch on the back. Uh, quad track. I'm sure this was never actually a legitimately uh, available version. Uh, oh, yeah, and a front hitch on it here as well. So let's uh, let's take a look at this tractor in the shop here a moment, and then we'll uh, take a look at it out uh, in the fields here as well. So uh, default configuration here, $86,000 for the cheapest configuration. It's going to go up from there depending on what tires you put on it. we got quite a few different uh, tire options here, both with the uh, the Michelin, Trelleborg. Trelleborg and Michelin both have the same tire option, just a uh, different tire brand. That's, that's pretty much the same there. Uh, also the uh, Mita tires, they got the great big uh, 10 50 50s on there. And then uh, for some strange reason, we got dual option. Not sure the crazy people that suggested that one, but there's a duals option for that. And then uh, we also have lizard tracks here. So 18, 24, 30, and 36 inch uh, tracks on there as well. Uh, regular exhaust, chrome exhaust. Uh, some crazy person wanted window tint, so we got a slight window tint on there. Uh, on the back, we have the option for the uh, three point hitch or no three point hitch. Just uh, takes the uh, three point hitch off there. Most of the rest of the assembly still stays on there yet, but uh, engine setup, as I was saying, 210, 225, 270, and 4325. And then we got uh, front attachers on here as well. This also was a suggestion here, so no front attachers. We got a front hitch. Uh, we got a tank mount. We'll cover that here in just a moment. And we also have a blade mount. So for both the uh, tank and the blade mount, uh, you got to use the uh, case from Carl Farms here. And actually, you know what? I don't know. Do I have this active? Well, I must have it. Yes. The uh, Case Steiger series here from Carl Farms, I believe, is the one that made this. Uh, this tractor here comes with the blade and the tanks that will fit on the white. And I'll try to make sure I remember to link this down below as well. So if you want the uh, blade and the tanks, that'll fit on there. I don't know if there might be other mods that have it as well, everyone, but uh, like I said, these are the ones I designed it to fit. Uh, I, they are not included in the mod. You will have to download the case to get those. So the uh, tanks here are under crop protection. They're the uh, Steiger front takes tanks here. You know, you can just set it on the no decal and not, no one will know their uh, case, right? And then for the uh, blade here under silage levelers, it is the pit bull blade that will uh, fit on this tractor. Just keep in mind that blade is must be stinking heavy, everyone. You might want to throw a weight on the back of this tractor. Yes, on the back of this tractor because that apparently is a fairly heavy, uh, heavy blade. So anyway, four uh, three two five with the tracks here. Uh, let's see what's also got a, another four three two five. We're pulling a DB one twenty with this here. Uh, we got the tanks on the front here. Watch, I guess I don't have the uh, cedar full, do I? Oh well, I can't really actually do any uh, planting there's the uh, tank mounts on the front they might interfere by the way if you purchase tracks I'm not sure if I ever checked that uh, configuration so just uh, keep that in mind uh, no three point on the back of this tractor and this one has the dual Mita Mita's however you say that uh, tire option and then for our final configuration here we got the uh, 4325 another 4325 with the uh, pit bull blade so there's the uh, pit bull blade on the uh, front of this uh, tractor here like I said, it is a little heavy on the front, so just uh, keep that in mind. Overall, the uh, the model of the tractor, everyone, is, yes, a little bit on the plain side. There wasn't a whole lot of detail here. 
in this uh, particular track. But overall, I think the model, you know, it's not really a whole lot of extra detail to really add, I don't think. Um, got some basic uh, interior detail here as well. Uh, just the WFE logo on the uh, white steering wheel logo on the, yes, yeah, white steering wheel, uh, white, white logo on the steering wheel. There we go. That's what we're trying to say. So yeah, like I said, not a whole lot of detail in the uh, cab here. Forgot about that. I was going to try to throw some uh, decals on the dash there. Forgot about doing that. So, oh well. We'll maybe see once maybe in the future we can uh, do another release of this and update it further. But uh, for now, everyone, like I said, there it is. The white uh, series, four series articulated tractor. Keep in mind, this is an articulated tractor. Of course, I'm sure you already figured that out. Download link will, of course, be down below for it. And on that note, everyone, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And until uh, next time.